Inside of CryEngine, it will always want UV maps, especially in Maya. It will give you an error if you don't have any, so we're going to talk about how to find out if you have UVs and what to do if you go and try to make them, but maybe you don't know what you're doing and you want to correct it. So in this, in the UV tab, we can go to UV Editor, and we can see that we have geometry, but it's not all of the faces of our geometry. So what can we do? The easiest method would be to go to UV, and I'm going to create a new UV, and it's just going to be a planar map. So now I have a planar map, which, if we look at it, it's quite good automatically. Everything is exactly as we would expect it. All of the points are ideal. Say I want to be able to make some modifications to this. So what I'm going to do is select some edges. Keep in mind, right mouse button click, Edge. I'm going to select the edges I want to cut. So I want to cut these corner pieces. And hopefully when it unfolds, maybe it'll unfold a little bit easier and it'll be wider out. So up top here, this knife here, it says separate the UVs along the selected edges. So I'm going to click that. But it didn't do anything. What we need to do is we need to right click and select all of the UVs. I'm going to select all of the UVs. And I'm going to press this button that says Unfold Selected UVs. Now if I click that, you'll notice that I have unwrapped it a little bit more and it's been able to stretch out to conform to possibly a better result. The one thing to keep in mind is now we have overlapping UV shells as far as what it's doing. So if you scale it in, now we have a unique UV. Another thing to keep in mind is sometimes you have multiple UV sets. In this case, it was made in Maya and it says Map 1. A good example would be in Cinema 4D, if you were to create an object and export it out, there's a good chance it'll say UV Channel, and this will create multiple UV sets. This is good if you're using Unreal or Unity because it uses the light map baking in the second UV set. CryEngine doesn't use any light maps and it's real time all the time if you want to just import it and bring it into the level. So I'm going to talk about how to find the UV sets. It's not in the same spot. So what you need to do is you go to UV and bring it all the way down. It says copy UVs to UV set. And I want to create a new one. So if we come up here into UV sets, we now have two UV sets, which is not what we wanted. We, we didn't want this at all. And this is what will error out. So how do we get rid of the UV set? What we need to do is we go to our mesh display. So what we do now is we go to our UV. UV set editor, and we can see that map 1 will always be the default UV. And the UV set 2, we want to get rid of. So let's go ahead and think about how we could get rid of it. Maybe we have all of our information on UV set, and we want to move it to map 1. Well, how would we do that? We would do it exactly the same as we did it before. So copy UVs, and we have UV set 1 selected. So I would select map one. It's giving me an error because it already has it. But that would be a way you can migrate, and then you simply delete the second set. So this is how you get rid of the UV set editor errors in the engine. Here's a good case of the history that's added up based on what we've been doing. So if I go to edit, delete by type, we can remove the history. The last thing that we will cover is actually color sets. And color sets are interesting because it allows you to maybe tint an object a different color, or you're able to create ambient occlusion with that. So we're going to talk about how to create color. You can use this for detail bending. 
which is shown in the foliage. So I want to go to Mesh Display, and what we're going to do is just the Paint Vertex Color Tool. So we're going to click the options of that. And in this, we can see that we have Replace, Smooth, Remove, Subtract, Add. These are all typical, and you can do it in RGB or RGBA. Regarding the Paint Vertex Color Tool, it will automatically add an RGB channel based on just painting it. So we're going to do purple. And I'm going to paint these edges. And this would be a case of where you're creating a UV or a vert color set to tint. So it would be pink. And you would be able to export that out. A quick note on color sets. You want to be careful with them because if you export it out and you have a proxy, you have to create a color set on that proxy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to go in, Mesh Display, Color Set Editor. I'm going to delete that color set. You'll notice that it's a per instance thing. So that copy has it and this one no longer does. So in that Color Set Editor, we can just create a new one and you just want to set it exactly as it is and apply and close. And this will remove the P underscore draw helper error inside of the resource compiler in the case that these two were grouped under export node. That's when it would edit or error out inside of the resource compiler. So you want to avoid it by specifically creating a color set to either create vertex coloring with ambient occlusion or to stylize something in general.